COVID-19 has affected millions of people in the world. And unfortunately, some people have long haul COVID or even post vaccination syndrome that has left debilitating symptoms that doctors can't solve. There is a big problem with COVID-19 and it's caused a huge problem with long haul COVID and post vaccination syndrome as well, where patients are experiencing brain fog, fatigue, joint aches, GI issues, mast cell activation syndrome, and also nerve pain as well, amongst many other symptoms that regular doctors can't solve. However, there is a solution to long haul COVID and post vaccination syndrome that can work. Today, I'm gonna to be going over a comprehensive, holistic approach to long haul COVID and post vaccination syndrome that can help these patients. I'm Dr. Mikey Yu. I'm a board certified integrative rheumatologist who sees complex illnesses in my office. And I also see long haul COVID and post vaccination syndrome as well. The problem with COVID-19 with long haul COVID and the post vaccination syndrome is that there is no approved medication to really treat these conditions. So we have to figure out our own way and think outside the box on how to fix problems with long haul COVID and post vaccination syndrome because the symptoms regarding these conditions are very similar. The list of symptoms with these two conditions include severe fatigue, brain fog, memory issues, joint pain, heart palpitations, and a fast heart rate, joint and muscle pain, insomnia and sleep disturbance, persistent cough, loss of smell and taste, anxiety, mast cell activation syndrome, and also dysautonomia or POTS. If you're not familiar with dysautonomia or POTS, a lot of patients with long haul COVID or post vaccination syndrome are experiencing high heart rates just with standing or even lying down. And also I have seen an increase in mast cell activation syndrome as well, where patients are getting recurrent hives, allergic symptoms to things they've never been allergic to before, such as certain medications or even supplements or food or even leftovers or allergies to the environment. And they're having a difficult time dealing with these allergic symptoms and my heart breaks for patients that come to me with these symptoms because it can be very, very devastating. And sometimes these patients are going to five, 10 doctors with no answers because some of the doctors they are seeing aren't thinking outside the box and they're just getting the run around or even being told by the doctors that just sleep it off or just get some exercise, do some yoga. But that's not really the solution. Doing some yoga and go sleeping it off isn't really gonna fix long haul COVID or post vaccination syndrome. We really need to think outside the box with supplements, holistic health, and also certain medications in combination together to fight this problem. If you have experienced or experienced long haul COVID or post vaccination syndrome, I want you to comment below and tell me what you're experiencing because some of these symptoms can be very similar to fibromyalgia, Lyme disease, mycotoxin illness with mold toxicity and can overlap with other autoimmune conditions as well. When we encounter COVID and long haul COVID, there is a disruption of our gut microbiome and also there's a disruption to our mitochondria as well. So we need to try our best to optimize these disruptions to our health. So let's go over the holistic and comprehensive protocol that I have in my approach to patients with long haul COVID and post vaccination syndrome. Number one, we wanna focus on our gut health. Yes, our gut microbiome is disrupted, but we do not wanna forget that we wanna at least eat a whole foods diet. Continually eating a ultra processed foods such as a standard American diet with processed carbohydrates, processed meats, high salt, refined sugar, isn't gonna help our situation. We want to focus more on a whole foods diet. What does that mean? Well, for some patients, it might mean eating a Mediterranean diet. Others, it may mean eating a paleo diet. But we want to count the ultra processed foods that we're used to, such as donuts, cereals that we see in boxes all of our grocery stores, candy, chips, cookies, cakes. We want to avoid these. So some patients having a whole foods diet means eating lots of vegetables, some fish, grass-fed meat, organic meat. So 
That's one example. Other patients, they might notice that because of COVID and long haul COVID or post vaccination syndrome, they've noticed a change to the gut and the foods that they can eat. So some patients, they can't tolerate any grains. They can't tolerate rice. They can't tolerate any gluten at all since they've been infected. So you really gotta be cognizant and be aware of the type of foods that you're eating that could be affecting your health. Some patients I've noticed go on a keto diet temporarily and that helps their situation as well. Everyone's a little bit different, but the first thing is to avoid a standard American diet. That's one of the first steps in healing to long haul COVID. Along with focusing on gut health, we want to utilize certain supplements and medications to help with our recovery. A lot of patients who've been infected with COVID on long haul COVID have an increased risk of blood clots. So we want to decrease the chances of getting blood clots. Some patients might take aspirin, warfarin, or medications that we use for blood clots might be too strong. So we want to focus on supplements that can help with some blood thinning, such as nanokinase and lumbrokinase as well. You want to talk to your integrative doctor about some of these supplements because they're not for everyone. However, they can help with blood thinning through the supplement route, and that's nanokinase and lumbrokinase. And with all the inflammation going on, with COVID, we want to take some measures to decrease the inflammation. One of my favorite medications that has to be compounded is low dose naltrexone or LDN. I like to give it for a lot of different army conditions. I like to give it for chronic fatigue as well. And it works wonderfully for COVID. Now with low dose naltrexone, you want to titrate up slowly. So you don't want to go to four and a half milligrams directly, which is an ideal dose. So some patients, they might need to start at 0.1 milligrams or 0.5 and titrate up eventually. But you don't want to miss low dose naltrexone because it's a great medication for decreasing inflammation and for modulating the immune system. And it doesn't really suppress the immune system like other immunosuppressive medications out there do. Low dose naltrexone has been studied for fibromyalgia and other autoimmune conditions as well. I've seen it help in some of my patients for sleep, although one of the side effects of low dose naltrexone could be insomnia. So you gotta see how you respond to this medication. And some side effects that you need to know about for low dose naltrexone are the nightmares and vivid dreams. So some patients, they can get nightmares and vivid dreams, but it can go away within a week, or some patients, they just can't tolerate it. So it might not be the medication for you if you have COVID and you can't tolerate it. But there are so many options out there. So no need to worry if you cannot tolerate this medication. Melatonin is an excellent supplement for sleep. But did you know it has wonderful properties for fighting inflammation, also helping with mitochondrial function. Typically melatonin is given around one to five milligrams for sleep. And it can also be given around this amount for fighting long haul COVID. Magnesium is also needed to help with the mitochondria. Magnesium is involved in so many biochemical pathways. You don't want to forget about this. It gets used up quickly in the body and especially when we're fighting inflammation. Some of the magnesiums that you want to pay attention to if you're looking at magnesium is magnesium citrate, glycinate, and also tartrate as well, or malate because they're really good at absorption. Remember, magnesium citrate is for constipation. Glycinate can be used for anxiety and for muscle aches. But any of these magnesiums is highly absorbable and can be used in the treatment of COVID or long haul COVID. Now, some of your other supplements that you don't want to forget about are N-acetylcysteine. N-acetylcysteine is an antioxidant and it fights inflammation in the body. So any N-acetylcysteine, I've given in my patients 900 milligrams or even 1800 milligrams or two grams to help fight long haul COVID. And sometimes I've seen it help with improving the fatigue and brain fog. You can also use glutathione because NEC turns into glutathione and those are active in the body for fighting inflammation. So both of these are excellent supplements. Now don't forget, we want to optimize our vitamin D function. When vitamin D is low, it can lead to gut dysbiosis or an imbalance of a gut microbiome. And also, Vitamin D is really important to optimizing our immune function. We want to fight the inflammation 
in as many directions as possible. So optimizing a vitamin D is crucial. So not getting just a minimum, but past the minimum is so important. So the reference ranges that I see usually are 30 to 100. So for vitamin D, I like it at least 50. In addition, you don't want to forget omega-3 fatty acids for fighting inflammation. So you can get that from fish oil or algae oil. You can get it in the capsules. You can also get it as liquids as well. There's many different forms of omega-3 fatty acids that you can consume, but you need to add this to your regimen to fight the fatigue and inflammation that you're experiencing. And last but not least, pre and probiotics. Because our gut microbiome has been compromised, we do want to take probiotics and prebiotics to improve our gut health. Now let's talk about other medications and supplements that we didn't get to that we haven't talked about yet. And that includes vitamin C. Vitamin C is such an important antioxidant. You don't want to miss this. You can get IV vitamin C from your local clinics or you take oral vitamin C as well. Some medications that you probably heard of are ivermectin and hydroxychloroquine. I've seen these medications more for not only COVID, but also long haul COVID and post vaccination syndrome as well. If some of these other interventions don't work, like these supplements or low dose naltrexone, adding ivermectin and hydroxychloroquine to the treatment plan may not be a bad idea. They help with inflammation, and I've seen it restore some of my patients' fatigue, brain fog, and get them back to where they were when they were normal before they had COVID. Some of the treatments that are not so traditional, well, it's not like we're talking traditional anyway in this video, we're thinking outside the box here, but some other treatments are hyperbaric oxygen therapy, also known as HBOT. Hyperbaric oxygen therapy can help with the mitochondria and you can get hyperbaric oxygen therapy devices You can rent them out. There's clinics out there that have these treatments and some of that gives patients the extra energy boost that they need and can help with their fatigue. Another great medication that can help with fatigue and the mitochondria is methylene blue. You can get methylene blue from pharmacies, from your doctor, but this can also help you with fatigue. You gotta be aware with methylene blue, you gotta check for G6PD deficiency. So if your doctor prescribes this, you need to check for G6PD deficiency in your labs. And if it's a deficiency, you will wanna avoid methylene blue because it can cause hemolytic anemia or it can lyse your red blood cells when you take methylene blue. And methylene blue, when you take it, it can make your urine blue as well. So don't be worried if you take methylene blue and you have blue urine. Couple of other treatments that can help with long haul COVID and post vaccination syndrome is surprisingly the nicotine patch. The nicotine patch has been found to be anti-inflammatory for long haul COVID. The way it works is that it can compete with a spike protein for the acetylcholine receptor. The spike protein loves acetylcholine receptors. So by fighting the spike protein, it can help with long haul COVID symptoms. So the nicotine patch can be used for long haul COVID based on recent studies. Two other medications that has been found to be very helpful for COVID and Dr. Bruce Patterson has talked about these and they are Maraviroc and a statin or such as Pravastatin. So as you know, statin is a cholesterol lowering medication. It's found to be helpful for long haul COVID and also Maraviroc is an HIV medication, but it's been found to be anti-inflammatory which is very surprising, which is excellent. And they have found that using a combination of Maraviroc and a statin, such as a Torvastatin or Pravastatin, has been found to be helpful for long haul COVID. And I've personally spoken to Dr. Bruce Patterson. I've seen him talk on stage before, and he has talked about how Maraviroc and Pravastatin has been very helpful in his own patients with long haul COVID. So if these other medications and supplements don't work, don't forget about Maraviroc and Pravastatin. So hopefully with this armory and toolbox of supplements and medications, you can get better with post vaccination syndrome and long haul COVID. Don't forget that you still have to focus on your exercise, mental health, mind body medicine, and sleep. So if you can't run or you're fatigued, too fatigued to walk, at least do some stretching. You wanna keep moving or even do some yoga and meditation for the mind-body medicine component. All these in combination with supplements and medications can be very useful for your healing process. So the improvement that we see in long-haul COVID can hopefully help with your fatigue, 
joint aches, GI issues, brain fog, and even dysautonomia or mast cell activation syndrome. If you are experiencing hot dysautonomia or mast cell activation syndrome, don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I'll be talking about these conditions in the future coming from a holistic perspective with the holistic protocol as well. So I hope this gives you a glimmer of hope if you're still dealing with post vaccination syndrome or long haul COVID because these conditions can be overcome and defeated. Sometimes it just takes trial and error or finding the right doctor to be able to help you with these conditions. I'm an integrative doctor. I use a lot of holistic tools in my office to get my patients better. So if you're still suffering from long haul COVID or post vaccination syndrome, you can find me in my clinic at drlifestyle.org. That's drlifestyle.org. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I'm gonna talk about a lot of different holistic protocols and tools you can use to improve your health in the future. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.